Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Happy watching. The 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV RST sits somewhere in the middle of the all-electric pickup segment's flavor scale. The RST's chrome-faced 24-inch wheels and the bright white LED light bar that nearly spans the truck's 83.8-inch width are certainly statement pieces, but the overall design doesn't sacrifice usability. In fact, the large crew cab, 5-foot 11-inch bed, and 10.7 cubic foot frunk make a very convincing case for use as a family pickup. But that's precisely what you should expect from an all-electric truck that costs nearly $100,000. While we've driven the work truck variant, this is our first turn inside the top trim RST. Jumping the nearly $17,000 difference between these two trims means upgrades such as air springs, rear-wheel steering, hands-free driving, nicer interior wrappings, a 17.7-inch center touchscreen, the ability to fold down the rear bulkhead, a glass roof, and so on. What doesn't change is the enormous battery, also found under the GMC Hummer EV truck and SUV twins. We think creating a third standard for measuring capacity is confusing, but hey, we aren't making batteries. They'll hop in, see a max range of 440 miles, and speed off in quiet blissful ignorance that the battery underneath accounts for approximately a third of the RST's 8,800-pound curb weight. Yes, the RST hides much of its mass, with a ride and handling feeling closer to that of a soft SUV than a nearly 4.5-ton truck. You'd never guess those LT275-50 R24 Michelin Primacy LTX tires under your feet are inflated to 61 PSI in the front and 68 in the rear. Four-wheel steering further imbues nimbleness at low speeds. Owen Wilson mode increases output to 754 horses, which got our test truck to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds and 12.6 seconds at 111 miles per hour in the quarter mile, just before it tops out at its 113 miles per hour limiter. The truck pulls left and right slightly during the run, inviting a minor wrestling match with the steering, which is disconcerting, quicker and more powerful EV pickups don't do this, but perhaps an appropriate sensation considering the physics at play. You can figure somewhere between 754 horses and the WT's rating of 510 horsepower. Without WOW mode selected, acceleration times fall to a lazy feeling 5.8 seconds to 60 miles per hour and 14.2 seconds in the quarter mile. The other party trick is the foldable rear bulkhead, which Chevy calls the Multiflex Midgate. The 6040th split bottom half folds to extend the bed length to just over 9 feet, and when used with a tonneau cover, it creates a large secure storage area. The Silverado EV's cab is generally the same size as its gas-burning counterpart, with a slight decrease in rear headroom and increase in rear legroom. Chevy reps say a shade will be available as an accessory. Like many new Chevys, the RST has a 17.7-inch center touchscreen that responds fluidly and quickly to inputs. Given the power underfoot, we have little doubt of the Silverado EV's 10,000-pound tow rating. What remains to be seen is how much of that 440-mile range remains while trailering. Our extensive tow testing with other EV pickups, including the Silverado EV's battery twin GMC Hummer EV, showed range dropping by more than half. Chevy says fitting one wasn't possible partly because a 24-inch wheel is, well, really big. The battery's two layers can change from parallel to series connection, meaning you can use a 350 kW DC fast charger, which should add 100 miles of range in 10 minutes, per Chevy's claim. The change is automatic, so the only task for owners is finding a properly functioning DC fast charger. At home, the Silverado EV can take the max 19.2 kW you can get from level 2 charging. That means the improbable charge from empty will take over 12 hours, but you're more likely to top off the battery nightly or every other day. To that end, the Silverado EV has multiple ways of offloading electricity. Outlets in the front, cab, and bed can supply up to 7.2 kilowatts. Add an accessory inverter and that figure climbs to 10.2 kilowatts. The Silverado EV can also power your home during an outage. Doing so requires buying Chevy's home charger and vehicle-to-home enablement kit. When so equipped, the Silverado EV's battery has enough juice to run a typical home for about a week, but those interested should consider the lower cost of a home natural gas generator. As with the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Silverado EV RST's biggest challenge is that it's offered for sale right next to less expensive gas-powered Silverados that offer similar capabilities and features, from super cruise to contorting tailgates. 
while they lack a massive center display, 4.1 second acceleration to 60 miles per hour, a frunk, and folding rear bulkhead, the fuel-fed trucks offer comparable towing capability, the reliability of gas stations on long-distance drives, and a spare tire. Also, where the Silverado EV qualifies for a $7,500 federal tax credit, gas-powered top-trim Silverados can cost anywhere between $15,000 to $30,000 less, depending on options and incentives. While less expensive Silverado EV variants will follow, the RST makes us eager to watch the segment mature. Thank you for subscribing and liking, commenting. See you in the next video.